today because uh, everything went smooth in the woods today. Come back here and uh, Big Dad and Big Mama, they got away from us all and they come up here and started feeding up, filling their building up. Oh man, I'm almost gonna get teary-eyed. <laughs> Ain't that great? Oh, she all fit right in here. Got the little tater tracker put in here yet. And uh, uh, gooseneck trailer. Oh man, that is great. Hell, that loader tractor go right there. Oh, look how uh, faded all our equipment is from sitting out so long. Boys, don't ever let your equipment sit out. We'll repaint a bunch of it and stuff and fix it all up soon enough. Oh, what a good day. All the way around. Oh, that's nice. Might have to work on that hitch. That hitch is getting bent a little bit. But look at it. I am so happy. Big Daddy just can't get enough of it. I drove up top of the hill and he's skidding logs. <laughs> <laughs> something about putting that over something for the calves or something. I don't know what they got going on. But he got him a green skitter, so he got one of the new ones. This is interesting. Here's how we do farming. Sorry. Yeah, I don't want to scoot that other end. I need to come over towards you, don't I? Steer tire, wanna? My steer tire hits it, I'll get her. If I can get my steer tire against it, I'll push it over there. Am I hit my bumper? Yeah. As long as I ain't hitting my bumper, I ain't worried about it. Am I hit my bumper? Too far? I need to get the other end now, don't I? I'm getting to where I'm pulling my tire outside. Just right, I'll turn the tire outside and it just bumps it. I'm gonna put new tires on tomorrow, anyways. <laughs> 
So I don't push that end over? Okay. Well, the first thing you do in your farming is get your alcohol. I'm in four drive. Hang on. I was in four drive. Just a hair more. I was in four drive. That's what's screwing me. That's how we farm. Only good decisions made around here. Look at that, moo cows. I look like that. They're not California cows, but they're still happy. Oh, hang on. Getting notifications. Are right, you ready, Ganny? Yep. Your, your pusher will do it. Yeah. Am I going to hit the bumper? Well, I'm done, our. Oh, <laughs> I'd be it'd be wise to get your chain off there while I'm pushing it, getting. Again, again, again. Yeah, see? Can you back it up? <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Again again. Uh there you go. Alright, ready? What about the other one? Hit the other end a little? Yeah, and then cut it off. All right. All right, there's my bumper. One ball, a hole. One more, two more, two more. That's good. Damn calves.
Whatever. I'll just give a little word of advice here. This is for everybody's good. Anybody that uh, don't know. Okay. Uh, you always run these situations with with, uh, with uh, uh, farmers, firewood cutters, something like that. You know, son of a bucking. Always want you to do some or construction. Always want you to do something stupid with your damn timber cutting saw. There's nothing that makes me. <sighs> you know how long it takes to make a chain rod to cut timber? It takes a while. It take it's a freaking. 20 minute endeavor to get your chain just right to start cutting timber. A yard saw is a yard saw. A timber cutting saw is a timber cutting saw. You don't take a timber cutting saw and do dumb shit with it. That's what you do with a yard saw. Brand new Valvo for uh, your boy. Let's dig 18. It actually has a decent axle on it. Think of that. There you go, brand new poop truck. It suck out all those poorlets at the uh, Paul Bunyan show. I'll drive it on down for you. Then you can call me STP. I shit the pants. <laughs> Look. It even got a short stack Stevie. Got a long one and a short one. You see who's on top, right? Old Glory, right under its mat. Volvo's coming in down on the bottom. 